Hi, this is Tim Schrock from Design Build Solutions. Today, I want to talk about turning this into this. Hold on. Hi, this is Tim Schrock from Design Build Solutions bringing you today's Tech Tip Tuesday. Once again, I am working in Chief Architect Premiere version X10 on my iMac desktop computer. As mentioned before, I am turning, doing a custom uh, bathtub, and I've dropped in this uh, Kohler bathtub as my model, and right now it doesn't look uh, appropriate. Uh, let's open up the camera view again. There's our view, and actually if we look in here, we see drawer spaces, etc. So we've got some... Um, got some clean up to do. First of all, to deal with the, uh, the deck top, if you will, I'm going to select that cabinet and I'm going to uh, click on this icon down here in my child tools called generate custom countertop. Bam, done. I'm going to hit the number three key right here and break that polyline and move it over to the left minus one inch. Now I'm going to go into my cabinet tools and I'm going to do a custom counter hole. Now I've placed the um, bathtub unit where I want it, up, down, left, and right in my um, model. And so I'm just going to create this hole slightly inside the bathtub lip. And let's do a Shift F6. There I've created the custom countertop, if you will, and uh, molded it around or followed around the um, half wall here for the shower and then I created a custom hole in the countertop. The last problem is that these drawer um, pieces are actually showing up in the model and I do not want that so I'm going to go back into my plan view and when I click it selects the countertop I'm going to tab because I really want come on oh well I'm in countertop mode so it's not tabbing now I go into cabinet mode and it selects the cabinet. I'm going to hit Command E and instead of drawer false, I'm going to change this into a door. Let's try see what I do if it's drawer panel. Doesn't change it, so we're going to open it again and go into door panel, not versus door left, right. Hmm. Still changing it. Let's see here. Oh, the separations is what's uh, getting me, isn't it? Yes, the issue really is the separations, vertical separations. I, I want the blank areas, but not the separations. So we're going to delete all of my separations in here. Click OK. And there you have it. Last but not least, we're going to add a backsplash. 13 inches high. Click OK. And this is going to be I do not want backsplash on the side. Whoops. So I'm going to go zero and because this this wall will just integrate with the stone here, I'm going to draw a line. And this will actually work better. And I'm going to make this a molding polyline. I could actually do it differently. Let's do this this way. I'm not going to do a molding. I'm going to do a wall elevation. 
I'm going to create a wall material region. And coming over here, I'm going to go up 13 inches. And then another one, four inches. Here, I'm going to select this material and paint it there. And then some sort of tile, uh, you know, it really doesn't matter what you put on there, but uh, probably going to be a mosaic along this uh, four inch along the top. Hey, I hope this has been helpful as we placed and um, created this custom tub and deck uh, using the uh, custom countertop and countertop holes and then figuring out what's going on with the uh, vertical separations. As always, if you've learned something or enjoyed this video, please leave a like down there, subscribe, uh, hit the notification bell, and you will get notified each week that I upload a Tech Tip Tuesday video. If you have suggestions or ideas or questions about how to do something that you're running into that I haven't addressed uh, or can update and address better, let me know in the comments. I always appreciate hearing from you. As always, have a wonderful week.